No doubt you will never forget that time during the pandemic, when our churches were locked, when we needed God more than ever. We were forbidden to enter his house of prayer, but the bottle shops were open. You could spend a fortune buying a spirit off the top shelf, but you were prevented from entering a consecrated building to be filled with the Spirit of God, to be in His holy presence. How many times over the years have we gone to make a visit to the Blessed Sacrament, and the churches are locked. And in the lives of the saints when the churches were locked, they would kneel outside in the snow for hours. He waits for us. He calls us. I am with you always. Come to me, all you who labor and are overburdened, and I will give you rest. One of the most beautiful things about entering into the holy presence of God, the Eucharistic presence of Jesus, is that there are absolutely no requirements or restrictions. Anyone can come. You don't have to be baptized or have faith or be in the state of grace. You can just come. You don't have to say a word. You don't have to kneel or do anything, but be in his presence. Be still and know that I am God. We know with absolute certainty that in the tabernacle or on the altar during Eucharistic adoration, the whole Jesus is really, truly, and substantially present. Body, blood, soul, and divinity. The living Christ, lovingly waiting for us in silence, longing for us to come and be with him, to be restored, strengthened, to let his peace wash over us, Think of all the fuss if we were out for dinner and someone famous walks in, a star athlete, an acclaimed singer. There's a bit of a buzz, isn't there? People start talking, staring, pointing. They get out their phones. And why? Because they're in the presence, even just for a few moments, of some famous celebrity. But here's the thing. That person doesn't even know you exist. They're not there to see you. They're not interested in you. If anything, you probably annoy them. But that is never the case with Jesus. He thirsts for our faith. In the Holy Eucharist, he is really present. Hidden. Humbly. But are we present? Do we come and adore him? Our Lord waits for us, hoping that we will come, even just for a few minutes, or maybe a holy hour. Why are we not willing to move mountains to be in the sacred presence of our Lord? People camp out, spend a fortune, and endure all sorts of inconveniences to buy concert tickets. But we can be going past a church, even on foot, and do we enter the house of God and pray? Especially during Lent, but not only during Lent. Try to come frequently and regularly. Perhaps you can make a visit to our God in the Blessed Sacrament every week. Honestly, why wouldn't you? We pave a way, travel all sorts of distances, and incur incredible costs for our medical or mental health appointments, even to buy clothes, catch up with a mate, or a facial. And he waits. Impatiently, he waits for us to come. He aches for us. And when you do come into his holy presence, give him your devotion. Express your faith. Pour out your heart. Listen to the movements of your soul. Open yourself up completely 
and receive. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, we firmly believe that you are truly present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Increase our faith and draw us frequently and regularly to your feet, to your holy presence. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus, I trust in you.